Hello my loves, welcome back to the Hottie Life YouTube channel. I'm Jess, if we're meeting for the first time, thank you and welcome. As you guys can see, we're in a new location. This place is phenomenally beautiful. It always reminds me of how vast this world is, yes, but also how places even close to home can be very magical along with your own home when we travel and step away for a moment. And that's exactly what it is that I'm doing. So of course, as you guys know, I am on vacation, but vacation is defined a little different for me because what I do for work and my actual hobbies and my joy and my love and my practices, my rituals are things that as I share with you guys and they weave themselves into my work. So even though I'm, I am on vacation, being who I am naturally, of course, I'm gonna show up and talk to you guys and share with you some things that have been coming through for me, again, through my own meditation. So this morning, sitting out here, I sat with the spirit, I sat with the divine, under these huge bamboo trees on my right, and these big, I don't know what trees these are. They're not oak trees, but they're something really stunning. Um, as I'm watching like the falcons kind of fly overhead. During my meditation, I was talking to the divine and was just open and receptive. And I asked, like I always do, what do I need to hear? What is the message? Where are we moving? Where are you moving me to? Where are we going today? What is, what is this? I always like to be open and ask that question and remain humble and open to receiving the answer. And Spirit showed me, spoke to me the word compassion. My first reaction was to immediately be like, listen, I'm a compassionate person. Compassion runs through my blood, through my bones. I'm compassionate towards my friends. It's something that I'm known for. I think I've got that covered. And per usual, spirit is just like, be open and receptive and listening and, and humble yourself. Let's dive into this a little further. And the more that I sat back and just watched as spirit was kind of leading me through the idea and the energy of compassion, the more that I realized that I could stretch that energy a little further into many areas of my life, not just one or two. So when we think of the word compassion, the first thing that we think of is the same thing that I think of. Well, I'll speak for myself. The first thing that I thought of was how I can be compassion, compassionate towards others, especially if I see someone suffering. The second thing that I think of when I think of compassion, if I go a little deeper, is I think about being compassionate towards myself, especially when I'm suffering. And the final layer that spirit was leading me to, because I'm sure that there's multiple layers, and I wonder what layers come up for you guys. So you'll definitely have to let me know down in the comments is that when you bring this to the divine and when you bring this to your own angels and your guides, what comes up for you? What layers do they lead you to? If you guys could, you know, let me know down in the comments so that we can really grow this energy even further. But the third layer that spirit led me to is having compassion for present circumstances, whether we understand why we're there or if even if we don't. I also saw spirit lead me to have compassion even when someone isn't suffering and when someone isn't struggling. Am I still as receptive and kind and soft to that person when everything is going well in their life? just as I am when I see that they are broken down and struggling or emotional or, or going through something. And my immediate response again came from an ego space to say like, yeah, of course I'm compassionate to someone when they're doing really well or that they seem happier. Be because it's not a, that's not the first trigger. Like when someone, if you automatically assume that someone is doing well, you're not thinking that you need to handle them with kindness and grace and softness, you think that they can handle a smart, smart remark or, you know, a little, little sassy moment or whatever the case is. But the truth is, is that those tiny moments can lead someone into a chapter in their life where they might feel a little beat up and bruised and broken down. And do we 
need to wait for someone to be suffering and struggling to to extend them the same type of softness and compassion and consideration that they would, you know, if things weren't working out. And I think that spirit, for me personally, was leading me to remind me that when someone is, when compassion means that for in this moment, and I'll also link it to the current circumstances, which I was talking about earlier, and I hope you guys are following along with me, but compassion extends beyond when someone is broken down or beyond when you are broken down. It's your, let that be your base level, your foundation that you start from, that you approach every single person like a brother or a sister, that you are constantly being kind and a friend to yourself. And also in your current environment, your whatever life is looking like, whatever pieces of your life or all pieces of your life that are important and meaningful or even small and seemingly insignificant, can we give it that same softness, that same kindness, that same compassion, literally compassion, so that not that we're preventing, but that we are maintaining a level a higher vibration, a higher level of love and kindness and consideration. With compassion though, of course, comes the energy of patience. Are we being patient in this season in our lives or are we trying to race through it and inevitably are we breaking it down and breaking ourselves down because we are not compassionate to where we're at at this moment in life? Even the worst situation and circumstances where we're just like, I do not understand. I do not like this. This is not what I want. This is not what I was expecting. If I had my way, this is not what I would have chose. Do you have the strength to approach the situation with compassion and kindness and say that I may not like you, I may not like this, but it is still deserving of softness and a soft approach from me and even acceptance and likingness, you know what I mean? Where you're able to put yourself in that space and say, I don't, I don't necessarily, this is not what I would have chose, this is not what I like, but because I'm here, I will see it for the blessing that it is and I will be kind to it. Sorry about that fam, my battery overheated and I moved to a cooler place. But as I was sitting and waiting for my battery to cool off, I actually looked up the definition of compassion for you. And the true definition, according to Merriam-Webster, is a sympathetic consciousness of others' distress together with a desire to alleviate it. A sympathetic consciousness of others' distress together with a desire to alleviate it. The word that really stood out to me is consciousness. This is something that we are made aware of. And I'm wondering in today's time, in today's society, in the pursuit of all the things that we are doing on a day-to-day -day basis, even the most simple hobbies or activities or chores that we have to take care of from grocery shopping to pumping gas to laundry, making the bed, those types of things, I wonder, in our speed and if our movement, are we compromising the energy of compassion in, in some way because we are not aware of each other, we're not aware of energy, we're not aware of the effects of how rushing and racing through life, life impacts us or impacts others, but also the place that it is that we're in right now because at the end of the day, the divine is going to be very, very clear in reminding us that we only have one life to live. We only have this. We only have this moment. And bringing our awareness to this moment will be will open the door for you to begin to become more consciousness conscious and aware of your present your ability to be present in the moment and once you are present in the moment how compassionate and considerate and patient are you being not only with the moment itself but with others and yourself so those those that was the word that was the word that came through today so i pass it on to you 
to sit with it or do with it whatever you will. Maybe you might journal on it, maybe you might think about it, maybe you might have a discussion, maybe you'll go to your prayer space, your sacred space and have that conversation with the divine. Maybe you'll throw it in the trash and move on as if this never happened. Either way, it is good and right with me and it is for you to do whatever it is that you will. But I wanna thank you for your time. I wanna thank you for being present and listening. I am setting the intention and I'm hoping and praying that mosquito that was just on me just now, which we have not had a mosquito this entire time, but it did rain last night, so maybe that's why. Hoping and praying that that mosquito doesn't come back, number one. And number two, I'm hoping and praying and setting intention that wherever you are right now, that you be good, that you be compassionate, that you're experiencing compassion, and anything that's not in alignment with that, that we have the courage to face it, to be aware of it, and to move ourselves away from it, or that spirit, the divine, the universe, paves a way so that everything around us is something that is truly supportive of our nature, especially if you're in a period of adjustment and growth, transition, transformation, healing, being receptive, fill in the blank. Every single one of you guys absolutely deserves that. So. I'm sending you my love and I'm going to invite you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Again, it's if this is just a message that you pick up and go and you pass, thank you again for being present with me. For everyone else, if this is a message that you love and you might be receptive to more, there's plenty more messages where that came from. So you can hit the subscribe button. And for those of you guys that are currently subscribed, I thank you. You guys are so generous in the comments and so generous in your energy and so generous in your views, just watching and hanging out with me. And it's not missed by me, it does mean the world. So I'm gonna go shuffle and get ready for Bahati Love Notes because it is time, it is time. We had a late start to the morning. My boyfriend came, we sat and we had breakfast on the lake and had coffee. And now we're all just kind of like floating floating through the day, just kind of letting the, the day take us wherever it wants to. So, and of course my day took me to come hang out with you guys, which I'm grateful for. All right, I'm gonna head out, but I'm sending you guys in my love, my, sending you my love always, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.